Supply Materials Day, I think, is a very exciting program to increase, again, student exposure. So not just at the graduate level, but really at the undergraduate level, and eventually we'd really like to get to even high, being able to involve some kind of high school outreach as well. In terms of letting people know what is biomaterial science and what can you do with biomaterials, and then what is what do you do after you graduate? So if you decide to go into biomedical engineering or chemical engineering and want to do biomaterials, what do you do after you graduate? And so that's why our program is really focused on having both academic um, speakers as well as speakers from industry and the fact that Texas again has several biomaterial companies and really a booming industry in this area. When you talk about materials, biomaterials in particular, you talk about everything from actually making the materials, testing the materials, understanding the mechanical properties of the materials, then starting to go in how does the material interact with the body and how do we design all of that. And so when you talk about that continuum you also talk about how how each of these disciplines really can fit into that. And so that's why you see biomaterial research in, all, in both the College of Science and the College of Engineering.